Well, thanks for coming in today, a wee interview with us. Thank you for having me. So, you um, were a member of the youth complex, you were a staff member as well, mm -hmm. um, but you are going to Camp America this year, aren't you? Which yes. is super exciting, so exciting. Mm -hmm. A wee bit jealous because I wish I went. I really, really wish I went. Mm -hmm. So, you're going to tell us a wee bit about the process and everything like that, yeah. and then um, if anybody's got any questions later on, I can pass them back to you. Mm -hmm. So, tell us um, why Camp America? It's just something I've always wanted to do. I've seen it on you know, the TV and the movies and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then last year, a lot of my friends went. Mm -hmm. And I just couldn't go over uni. So yeah. this year, the timetable works. So I was like, I'm going to do it yes. this year. Yes, I'm going to the kill. Yeah. Definitely. Sounds good. So whereabouts are you going to be based? I, I'm just going to be outside Pennsylvania. Um, mm -hmm. So it's like an hour away from Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. an hour away from New York, like in between. Oh, that would be good. That would yeah. be good kind of in-between space. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can go anywhere in America? Yeah, yeah. all over America. Aye. Just can't, yeah. Mm, that's good. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what will you be doing there? What type of camp is it? I know there's different variations. Yep. Uh, so this is a health and fitness camp. Mm -hmm. So it's for your physical health and your mental health. Mm -hmm. uh, and when I go, I'll be doing a wee bit of dance teaching and a wee bit of a camp counsellor. So it's kind of a mix between. Mm, that would be quite cool. Yeah. Imagine being a young person going to one of the camps as well. Mm -hmm. That would be pure epic. Mm -hmm. Do they need pay to go? I think they do. Yeah. Aye, and aye. There's they don't stay for the full time, so I think they take like four weeks and four, four weeks. Right, a hundred different ones. Yeah. I always think about, um, you know, Pelt Trap. Yeah. That's what I yeah. always envision it being, being like, imagine that. Oh, I hate my twin sister. Yeah, twin sister <laughs> stopped in handshake. You know? <laughs> right, okay, so the, what's the length of time that you're going to be there? So if they're only there for like four weeks or four weeks or whatever, how long are you going to be based there? So because I'm an international camper, I'll mm -hmm. go for one week's training and then eight weeks of working. Amazing. So does that one week's training happen just before the eight weeks? Yeah. I so just there for nine weeks in total? Yeah. Amazing. That sounds super good. Um, so the big question, mm -hmm. how much does it cost? So I think... All in all, it was seven hundred and fifty pounds. Right. Um, mm -hmm. So you do a fifty-five pound interview, mm -hmm. and that gets you onto the Camp America website. Mm -hmm. And then a hundred pounds was paid by my camp. They actually yeah. gave me a discount because I'd applied so early. Amazing. And they wanted to secure you. Yep. Which so is good. That was brilliant. Uh -huh. yeah. So then I just pay the rest, but you pay it in installments, mm -hmm. so you can do it you know as much or as little as you like until it's all paid. That sounds quite good. Yeah. Very good. And do you think that it's been manageable for you to kind of build up? Yeah, so uh, I, I've just created my own payment plan uh, um, and then if I want to change it that week I can, mm -hmm. or that month, sorry, I can mm -hmm. change it. So. Use some of your SAS for yeah. them towards it. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, so how much do you get paid when they're there? Um, it's dependent on which camp you go to. Mm -hmm. um, my camp's 1400 I'm getting paid, but the maximum for any camp is 2000 amazing mm -hmm. that is amazing and you just get, do you get paid that at the end of it or yeah, at the very yeah, end. Yeah. The very end. and then my camp i don't know about other camps but they also said that they offer two extra weeks if you want to at the end for more like for more for money more. or you can go travel, oh, you can go travel. Yeah. Uh, what are you going to do probably the travel but yes. i enjoy it and uh, i might love it so i might want to stay yeah that's good exciting mm -hmm. but that point you might hate wings and they'll be like, no, that's it, I'm out, I'm out to here. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so, other couple of wee things that I wanted to ask you was, um, so afterwards you said you're going to go to New York, mm -hmm. yeah. um, what about the application process, so how does that work? So, it's very much like your UCAS application, you mm -hmm. want to kind of sell yourself as well as you can, you know, put all your skills and qualities in. Mm -hmm. um, you can also put pictures and videos up, right. which is brilliant. Mm -hmm. Um, so and that makes like an overall profile yeah. of you. So yeah. it's kind of like your got a Tinder profile, but for yeah. Camp America, right? Pretty much so. so you want like good pictures. Are you allowed to have filters? You can. Do right. Pictures. Okay. We're cool. <laughs> I'm game. I'm still in. Um, what kind of pictures did you put in? So I put a picture of me dancing because uh -huh. I knew I wanted to go and be like do dancing. Mm -hmm. I put a picture of me working at the youth complex. Mm -hmm. A picture of me in the school show, and I put a picture of my dog. Oh, nice. Because yeah. they want to know about you as an individual. They, they don't want to just be like, oh, well, this is just another Scottish person. Like yeah. they want to. Yeah. Um, yeah. I Hear about you a wee bit as well, which is good. And did they ask you about yeah. that in interviews? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd also put a picture of my skydiving. <gasps> yes. And before mm -hmm. I'd even started the interview, they, they asked me how the skydiving was, so oh. I knew they'd read it. Ah, they'd read really it. Good. Oh, that's good. It's yeah. actually really, really good. Mm -hmm. Right, so you've you got your Tinder profile all up, and yeah. you see how fabulous that you are, and then do you get to match with like a camp? Or so, how does that work? So what happens is you do an initial interview mm -hmm. by someone who works for the actual Camp America company, you know the mm -hmm. camps, mm -hmm. and then they'll 
assess you, and then they will write a wee sort of paragraph about you, mm -hmm. and then that travels with your application to the camps. So they make a bio for you? They, yeah. Amazing, yeah. amazing. Mm -hmm. I would have put some pure rubbish in it, like, <laughs> would you do rock paper scissors first? Like, yeah, that's great. I always put rock first, I don't know why. <laughs> so then, so they put that forward, and then you have interviews with the actual camps. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So how many interviews have you had? I done five in total before I then found my camp, which was my sixth and my sixth interview. Uh huh. Yeah. And how was it? Was it nerve wracking or was it? They make you feel at ease to be honest. I mm -hmm. was nervous mm -hmm. first, but it's all um, done through Zoom. Right. And then as soon as you see them face to face, they're lovely and they put you at ease. Aye, that's yeah. good. What kind of questions did they ask you? Um, most of the questions were about me, like mm -hmm. what did I do, why did I want to do the camp, mm -hmm. um, what skills and qualities will I bring, and yep. then um, that was really it. Aye, mm -hmm. that's good. good. And did you ask them any questions? Yeah, so because of my uni timetable, I had to mm -hmm. make sure that I would be able to fit everything they asked me to do in, that, like, during yeah, the Yeah, and during, like, your summer holidays, yeah. really. So mm -hmm. I asked them, like, when their training started, because a lot of camps didn't put their training on their dates. Ah, so okay. then I had to make sure that and you I didn't want a surprise. Yeah, yeah. That I would be able to go, mm -hmm. so I had to make sure the dates would work for me. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, so the for you to go there, cause it's obviously America. Sometimes you need to get a visa mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So are you in the process of that yet? Uh, I'm not at that like that bit yet, but mm -hmm. I have. They've told me that they will one hundred percent support me and tell mm -hmm. me how to get it, help me through it. Um, and because some of my friends have done it, I know that they've had to travel to get their visa. Uh -huh. And so that's something that I would say you need to maybe I like yeah, incorporate the cost and yeah. save up for it. Aye. So mm -hmm. I know you can go to London sometimes, you can go to Belfast, so yeah. they're not too far away, but they're definitely not in Scotland, yeah. so mm -hmm. you might need to go and get that and source that. So when you're saving up, definitely incorporate yeah. that into your planning. Mm -hmm. And what about vaccinations? So like are they quite strict about like COVID vaccinations or like you know, we used to get vaccinations in school and things? So, so they did ask for you to be really fully a COVID vaccine vaccine. And um, because of my placement, I get vaccinations, mm -hmm. but they did ask for my vaccination record, so I did have to contact my doctor uh -huh. to get that to show them. And there was anything else that you needed off your doctor to prove that you were like fine? Um, yeah, so you do need to go to your doctor to get a medical, a right. medical exam, mm -hmm. and they will do like a mental health and a physical right. Right, exam. But mm -hmm. I think your doctor will do that if you just phone them up. Just ask them? Yeah, uh -huh. appointments. Okay. That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Um, and so then, once you've done Camp America, where do you go? Uh, I go the 16th of June. <gasps> That's pure soon. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. Mm -hmm. So you go then, and then what are you going to do after that? You're going to go travelling a wee bit, and then... Yeah. I'd like to go travelling, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to hopefully use that experience of working mm -hmm. with young people and open up my own nerd school. Back here in Castmelt? Yeah, hopefully, yes. Good. So hopefully we'll get hundreds of people coming, and then they'll be hearing all about it, mm -hmm. and then they'll go and go to Camp America as well, because you'll yeah. spread the word, mm -hmm. and everyone will get the bug for it. Yeah, uh, Well, that's amazing. Thank you very much, Laurie. No worries, thanks for